Hi, I'm NBC 10. First alert meteorologist Brittany Shipp here at Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. We are so excited for Weather Education Week. What we love about it the most is we get a chance to get out of the studio. We get these cool jerseys to put on and we get to talk to you directly. We wish we could do it all live here together on the field. But until then, let's have a little fun virtually. Hi, I'm Kevin Franzen, former infielder from the Philadelphia Phillies. I wish we could be together in person, but this is going to be fun. I hope you enjoy this experiment and learn something new. Today we're talking lightning. We've all seen lightning and thunderstorms in the sky, but we're going to learn a little bit more about exactly what powers that bolt of light. Lightning and thunderstorms can be dangerous to anyone outside. That's why the Philadelphia Phillies have to pay attention to the sky, not just for the next ball they're going to catch, but when there are dangerous storms nearby. Let's get started on the experiment. You're only going to need a few things and you can probably find it around the house. The first thing you need is a light bulb. The second thing you need is a balloon. The third thing, a wool sock, or you can use the hair on top of your head. What if I told you we can light this light bulb with just using the static electricity from this balloon? Would you believe me? I'm going to show you how. So here's the light bulb, here's the balloon. In order to get this to turn on with just using the balloon, we have to create a little static electricity. You can either use a wool sock or you can use the top of your head. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to rub this balloon on our hair, creating static electricity. But in order for us to see this light bulb turning on, we have to go into a dark room. In order to make this experiment really pop, we had to head below the dugout into a room where we could turn out all the lights. Lights, please. All I'm doing in the dark is holding the balloon where I rubbed it on my hair right above the light bulb. And do you see it? The light comes on. How cool was that? We powered this light bulb by using the static electricity from this balloon. So here's the science behind why we were able to power up a light bulb with just using a balloon. Lightning is an electric current in the clouds and you of course know there's no light sockets up there but somehow we still have electricity. So we're using the same type of energy in a lightning bolt to light up this light bulb. The first thing to remember is the atmosphere loves to be in balance. During storms, particles bounce around high up in our clouds, moving up and down. The base of the cloud becomes negatively charged, just like our balloon. And it's looking for positive charges, sometimes within the cloud, and that's called cloud to cloud lightning. But when it discharges to the ground, it's called cloud to ground lightning. In this case, it was our light bulb. Before we go, we want to make sure you always stay safe, especially during thunderstorms and lightning. So here are three lightning safety tips. Number one, when thunder roars, go indoors and stay there for at least 30 minutes after the last thunderclap. Number two, stay away from windows and doors. Lightning is a good sign of severe storms brewing with strong wind speeds. And number three, if you're in a car, roll up the windows and don't touch anything metal or electronics in the car. Remember, lightning likes metal surfaces. Thanks for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed learning all about lightning. This afternoon, you can catch Telemundo 62 meteorologist Alondra Anaya. She'll be talking a little bit more about safety tips when it comes to severe weather. You can catch that on NBC10.com slash weather education. See you later.